Five miles southwest of Starbuck on Highway 41, the specialness is glacial leftovers, one could say. Glacial Lakes State Park is a lesson in what glaciers leave behind. Kettles, eskers, moraines, and other geological stuff dot the park. Like many park's employees, Anita Henningsgaard is nuts about the park. I love being outdoors and just, you know, seeing, seeing the campers and everybody gets all excited. I love, I do night security. My favorite part is walking around and I love going on the hike. There's some of the trails out here are beautiful. If you love the prairie, you're a fan of the Dakotas, you'll love it out here. There's prairie out here to walk in. There's lots of hiking. I just like working here. I've always been interested in DNR and I think it's a great way to just get outside and be with families and get to understand the, the nature and the, the idea of wildlife and why it's important that we keep it preserved. Glacier Lake is about 2,000 acres, a little less than 2,000. The main lake, Mountain Lake, is about 50 acres. There's 47 camping sites. That's including four backpacking, hiking ones. The closest one is about an eighth of a mile. The furthest one is probably close to two miles. We have four cabins. Four of them near the beach are year-round cabins. They have electricity, and then two up in the lower campground are, have no electricity. We have about eight canoes, uh, four kayaks, and six boats for rent, and then our two paddle boards are the newest. There is about 16 miles worth of hiking trails, and that that includes mostly um, horseback riding and then just hiking trails on it. And then we have about a mile worth of interpretive trails. And then there's a mile hikers club um, trail that goes up to the highest point out by Oak Campground. Yeah, our park is a volunteer organization. We organized when when they were shutting down the parks and we we knew there was a, a need for uh, the park to be open. We built a cabin here, one of the, uh, this is before the state built theirs, you know the four that they put into each of the parks. We built one of the cabins, we've helped uh, rake leaves, we have Easter egg hunts out here. Glacier Lakes is open year-round. It's uh, it's uh, there's a lot of activity in the winter time. We've got four four heated cabins that we use. Uh, the people come from the cities and all over to cross-country ski when there's snow. Uh, there's lots of things to do here at Glacier Lake State Park in the winter time. We have four camper cabins that are available for rent. Um, they do have electric heat. Uh, so you can stay and play here at Glacier Lakes. Um, and then there's snowshoes for rent. Um, so all sizes and styles. So you can go out and for $6 a day, you can go out and snowshoe. Um, all the places that you've ever wanted to go that you couldn't go during the summer, which is a big advantage to coming out to Glacier Lake State Park or any state park during the winter time is you don't have to stay on the trails. You can go to that uh, swamp or to the marsh or uh, that hill that you've always wanted to get to during the summer but couldn't get to. We are setting up for our third annual candlelight event. Um, this is the third year. It's put on by our friends group here at the park. We have an excellent friends group that um, support us in a lot of ways and do help us with a lot of our special events. So we're lighting um, about a half a mile of snowshoe trail tonight and approximately a mile and a half to two miles of ski trail. Um, we started making these ice candles here that's next to me. Uh, we made approximately 60 of those and we lined the main entrance road coming into the park and then around the picnic shelter behind me here. Um, our friends group puts up tarps around our open shelter to help enclose it a little bit. Um, and then they usually do um, hot cider and cocoa there along with some snacks and then we have a bonfire down here. It's a great place to come out and have fun. Um, it's usually pretty quiet during the week. 
There's always places to picnic and stuff during the day. The shelter here is always open for use and you can have a campfire anytime you want. Um, and there's firewood for purchase here at the park. The transition from winter to summer is dramatic, white to green. Water folks walk on to water in which folks immerse themselves. But be it snowshoes or skis or paddle boards, when there's water involved, there's frequently something between the person and the water. Okay, I might paddle too. Paddleboard, it's basically, it's a big surfboard that you um, stand up on. So it's kind of a mixture of a surfboard and a canoe. And you just sit there and you paddle on either side. And you can stand, you could sit, you can lay down on it, you can really do anything you want on it. And it's just kind of another way of getting out there on the water. This year, I think, is the first year that we've had paddle boards in most state parks and everything. We just got it actually a week ago. So they were just, just starting them out and just starting to get people to know them and to get to use them. What's important is you want to make sure that the um, fins, there's two fins in the back of them. You want to make sure that they're in the deeper end of the water. You want to just kind of lay them in the water. There's a strap that you strap to your left leg and then you just you get on them. A lot of people will start on their um, knees and then they'll work their way up to standing and you just you paddle just like a canoe where you just you dig into the water and move and it's all about the same way of directing as a paddle goes as if you're on a canoe or a kayak. You just kind of go with the water. Paddle boards, um, why they're important on state parks, they're just another way for people to get out onto the, the rivers and the lakes that we have. Just a new activity to kind of get families to come to state parks for camping and just for the day to get out on the waters and enjoy the, the wildlife and the, the nature of the state parks. My favorite part of the park is probably over on the uh, other side of the lake there in the uh, the swimming beach area where they have the camper cabins. And it's a great place to take the kids and go swimming. And you can hike from several different points from that area and that type of thing. So it's a good place to take the kids and picnic. It's a, it's a really neat place. Yep, it is a really neat place, winter or summer. But some folks prefer, over all other seasons, fall, the most colorful time of year. Joy Heldman is a campground host for three state parks, all seasons of the year. She likes autumn best. I am the campground host during the summer months. We campground host at three different parks. And we start at Glacial Lake State Parks in May. And so we love the area. And my brother and I host together, and he loves birds. So in May and June, we have tons of birds in this park. And he spends several hundred dollars every month just buying bird seed for the birds. So the birds are very popular. The campground is built on a ridge because the glaciers are on either, either side. So both campgrounds, we have an upper and a lower, and they're both on a ridge. And then we like the terrain because of the hillies and the rolling mountains. They're not, they're not mountains, they're really hills. But, and I tell people it's a different kind of campground than you're used to seeing in the state of Minnesota. So that's what we like about it. Well, the leaves are really pretty, and the temperature is cooler, and there's no humidity, and the campgrounds are quieter. So that's nice. Well, we like to come in the fall just because we like to, again, it's our anniversary and being the time of the year, it's also a pretty time of the year. You know, you got the fall colors on the trees. That's what we look for, you know, to get out and enjoy the, the beauty. We like going camping in the fall because we really enjoy the fall colors and the cooler temperatures. And on a day like today when it's blue sky and sunny and the colors are just beautiful and it just is an enjoyable time. Just taking nice long leisurely walks, it's very enjoyable. I would come back to this park again, um, maybe in the winter time, but even maybe in the summertime when everything is green and pretty. I really like the size of the campground. It's, it's just right size for us with not too many campsites. So yeah, I would come back.